morning. Look at your little beans. Oh, what a lady. You got her little tushies out. <laughs> Look at her little tushies. Good morning guys. Welcome or welcome back to Vlogmas. Today it should be Vlogmas day 15 and I'm in my cozy sweats because I have the morning off. I'm just going to be cleaning all morning and then I'm going to be doing my vision board. I think that's what it's called. Vision board? Mood board? Vision board because I want to start the new year off refreshed and ready to achieve goals. So on that note, I'm going to tidy up because the house is a mess and I always say that every single vlog but it truly is because we've been dealing with a lot lately and tomorrow we get to pick up my my brand new car so I'm so excited but that being said I'm gonna clean up because I feel like I'm just stepping on dog fur all the time our dog is shedding so much so much so that we have to vacuum like once or twice a week at least and then sweep almost every day so I'm gonna vacuum now just to get the dog fur out of the way and I feel like I'm just like ingesting it at this point I just feel like 90% of my being is dog fur I know that's really gross but if you have a dog and it's shedding you understand you know what I'm talking about or cat I know a lot of cats shed luckily Luna doesn't shed that much but I know some some cats with longer fur shed but anyways i don't know why i'm talking about dogs and cats shedding let's get moving good morning it is such a mess here this room isn't too bad but obviously steve was playing video games last night so i'm gonna move that back but i'm gonna vacuum everything because look guys i'm really exposing myself here i'm trying to find a good place to show you an example of how much look at that you're shedding so much how do you even have fur on your body So let's see what my advent calendar is today from the body shop. I accidentally posted on talk yesterday that it was day number 14 because I was also editing my vlog at the time, which was today's vlog, but it was yesterday. So I was like, oh, unboxing day number 14, but it was day number 13. Day number 13, speaking of which, was a conditioner, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is 13. It was a conditioner. It was the oops, Shea for dry to very dry hair. And I also have the shampoo already. So that's really helpful. But day number 14, let's go ahead and open it. I'm gonna guess it's another hair care, although it feels pretty light, so maybe not. Let's see. Oh, it's the vitamin E moisture sleeping mask. That is awesome because I love anything vitamin E. That is really exciting. That's really cool. On that note, I'm gonna do some skincare. I have this giant pimple here still, which is super annoying, but at least I got all my sponsor content out of the way and I didn't have to have Big Monster in it. So I'm gonna go do some skincare and then some ballet and then maybe work on my vision board. Okay, so let's do some skincare. I washed my hair the other night, so it's still pretty good. It feels pretty smooth. I used the Dove shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I just put a little pimple patch on just so it's all covered and I don't tinker and tamper with it. I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of makeup just because I want to and there's nothing wrong with that. My journey with makeup surely has changed because I used to use makeup more so to cover up and to change my face versus to enhance my face. And I think that's just something that I've learned getting older. You just have to love yourself as cheesy as it is because if you don't fully embrace everything that that you are and you're just trying to hide it all the time you're never going to truly be as happy as you want so you may as well just face the fact that you are born the way you're born right a lot of the time we're told we have to look a certain way especially as women and especially in the ballet world we have to look a certain way but it wasn't until i was older i realized like it's okay to look how i look i'm actually happy and i know i'm loved and not only am i loved but i deserve to love myself i know that got really cheesy really fast 
but if I had somebody tell me that, I would feel a lot better when I was younger. But like I said, my journey with makeup has surely changed because when I was younger, I used to do a lot of winged eyeliner or I'd be really self-conscious if I didn't have pounds of mascara on my face um, just because I felt like my face without makeup didn't look as nice as it did with makeup. But now I just use it to enhance my features. Obviously today my face is covered by this pimple patch, so I'm not gonna put makeup on it because I am going to take this patch off before work. I'm just leaving it on during the day so that it has something protecting it. But yeah, I just use makeup to enhance features rather than cover, as I say, concealing my dark under eye circles. But I don't just use concealer like for that because honestly, I know it doesn't work. My dark under eye circles are going to be here for my entire life. Like these bags are not going away, nor are they designer. But like I was saying, I don't necessarily use a lot of concealer to cover up dark circles because I know they're not gonna be covered up, but I like using it to enhance my eye shape or I like brightening my under eye and drawing more attention to it, if that makes any sense. My relationship with makeup has changed a lot, but my relationship with clothing has changed even more. And that's something that's interesting because I thought as I stopped dancing, you know, gained weight, changed my body, like, you know, my body changes as I stop dancing, I would feel more self-conscious, but I've never felt more confident in my entire life. And I attribute that to being okay with sizing up in clothing, you know? When I stop dancing, obviously my body's gonna change in different ways, you know? I'll lose muscle mass or I'll gain fat, whatever. That's life. I'm not dancing six hours, six hours, six days a week for like eight hours. So obviously my body's going to change. And at first it was a huge shock. I'm not gonna lie like back in 2019 and 2020 it was a huge shock because I had to take time off because I had a femoral stress fracture that being said I just had to learn to love and accept myself and be like okay so this is what we do now we buy different clothes and make me feel more confident and I wear things that not only showcase like the beauty that I have but also feel good and clothes that make me feel confident and are comfortable you know you don't have to fit into your clothes your clothes have to fit you I feel like this pimple patch sticks out even more but you know what it's fine. I want to get those little cute ones that are like a little sticker almost. I feel like those draw attention, but they're also really cute. So like, why not play around with a little star or a little heart on your face? I think that's way more cute than this, but this is what I had at home and I just don't want to be picking and prodding at it because I'm bad for that. I've gotten better for sure, but I think a lot of people deal with this, but I am a picker. I will pick at things and poke at things. It's like an anxious thing, I don't know. Like I used to be really bad at it, I've definitely gotten better, but that was one thing about the panini that helped a lot. You know, having to wear masks, I feel like that, you know, restricted me from my usual bad habits of picking my skin. I should definitely clean out this beauty blender. And I always miss this under part of my nose. There we go, okay. A little bit of mascara, ooh. I don't know what happened to this one. I'm guessing she's old, maybe this is the new one. I have one new one, one old one. Catbird. I was cuddling with Luna earlier. I just put a little bit of lipstick on and it definitely feels weird to not have like blush and contour on my face. I feel like I look so pale, but I'm gonna pick out a leotard and tights. Like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I've just been on a shorts kick. So I'm just gonna wear shorts today once again. And I'm gonna throw my point shoes today because I did flat yesterday and my ankle is like 100% again. It still kind of hurts to sickle, but I mean, I'm not sickling. So that is fine as long as I don't sickle. But I'm gonna go put this on and get ready and put on my point shoes. This Leo always gives me the most confidence whenever I wear it because although I hate putting the tartan tights on, when I put it on, I'm like, dang, I look so good and I feel so good. Fun fact, when I was in ballet school, our teachers, especially during our graduate year, would always tell us what looked good on us and what didn't. And I always got that this one didn't look good on me. And I had one that was in this style, but a different color. I got this one after I had the first one. But the first one was like this teal color and everybody loved the color. But every single teacher I had were like, that looks terrible on you because it brings your shoulders forward and it makes you look really square. Wear. And I was like, well, I feel good in it. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. Maybe they're right, but I personally like the high neck. I feel like it gives me a lot more support, especially as my body has changed since being in ballet school. It just feels a lot more comfy and cozy. And I feel very professional with a high neck. I don't know what it is, but high necks always read professional to me. And it's also really cold this morning. So I'm gonna put on this jacket and that is pretty much my fit. I'm not gonna put on leg warmers. I wore leg warmers the other day. I desperately need to clip my toenails. I know that's TMI, but like, 
like they're getting kind of long. I feel like I am growing my toenails at an extremely fast rate lately. Not that anybody cares, but I feel like I'm trimming them every week and usually I go an entire month without trimming them because they grow so slowly. But whatever I'm eating is making my hair and my nails and my toenails grow really, really fast. I'm really confused as to how I keep losing my bun pins. Like I just bought a new pack and I thought I put them in my bag and I only have one bun pin in my bag. So someone please tell me why bun pins are the easiest thing to lose. Yet I have so many bobby pins, which is annoying because my hair doesn't hold bobby pins. So I'm just gonna do a little very lazy low part middle part and let's see if this works you know what actually i think what i'm gonna do is just do a little messy bun hair elastic and then pin it let's see how that works because i do want to do a bun today just because i need my hair out of my face and we'll just go like this also my hair is getting so long if you guys remember i cut my hair a few weeks ago and it's already grown so much since I feel like yeah like i said earlier whatever i'm eating my hair my nails are growing so crazy fast let me know if you want more like tutorials as well i know a couple of you guys asked for makeup tutorials for shows so let me know because i can definitely do that oh my gosh i don't know how i'm gonna make this bun happen I would be more than happy to do that. Oh my gosh, this is so not gonna work. Actually, maybe it's a sleigh. Ah. Okay, this is really tricky. It might work for now, it might work, and I always have to take some money pieces forward. It feels so, like, alien-like if I don't have money pieces forward. <laughs> have I sewn my point shoes yet? You guys would think, you guys would think. Somehow they're still hanging on by an actual thread. Thankfully today, my tights are stirrup tights, so I'll just put them over top of this so that my shoes can stay on. I made these into stirrup tights. I went through a phase when I was in the company of stirrup tights, so I just cut two holes and ruined a pair of tights. I usually only made them stirrup tights though, once there was already a run or a hole in the tights, so it's not a complete waste. filming some TikToks, hence the reason I'm wearing my tutu. And I'm going to go shower and then make lunch because Steve is going to have lunch with me in a little bit. But yeah, if you don't follow me on TikTok, go ahead and do that. I still wanna make my vision board today. So I think I'll do that after lunch. I also need to go to the post office because I'm fairly certain we have some packages in the mail, or at least I hope we do. But I feel really gooey today. You know, when you feel gooey, there's days when you feel like stiff and sticky, but today I feel very like, flexible, loosey-goosey. That was weird. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Hey guys, it's currently 1.51 and I'm just going to be editing the vlog tomorrow just so I'm ahead of the game because this weekend I'm gonna be out most of the weekend for snow shows and recitals and things like that. So we are going to work right now. <laughs> 